Hi guys, this is Pabli Connect Workshop. In this video, you will learn how to integrate WooCommerce to Zoho CRM. WooCommerce is an excellent e-commerce platform and Zoho CRM is an online customer relationship management software. So basically what we are trying to do is anytime a new customer creates an account in your WooCommerce store, his data will be automatically placed as leads in Zoho CRM. But WooCommerce and Zoho CRM are two different companies. Hence, there is no integration between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate WooCommerce to Zoho CRM. It is actually an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, you have to visit a website called as Pabli Connect. So this is the website. Here click on sign in. When you click on sign in, you will be brought to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own account in just two minutes. Here, bring your attention to the connect part and click on access now. Okay, in the right corner, you will find a button called as create new workflow. Just click it. It is demanding to enter a workflow name. I'm going to give it as WooCommerce, WooCommerce to Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM. Then click on save. When you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, we have to change it from the webhook to WooCommerce. In the choose method, we have to change it from the default new coupon created to new customer created. This one. So basically the idea is that whenever a new customer creates an account in WooCommerce, the system will trigger. Then let's go to your WooCommerce store. And obviously, as you can see, this is the registration page where the customer will register his details. Okay, but before that, let's go to our uh, dashboard of the WooCommerce. And here you will find settings. In the WooCommerce plugin, you will find the settings. Click on settings. Okay, at the right corner, you will find the option called as advanced. Just click it. Here you will find something called as webhooks. Just click it. Okay, it is asking you to click this button called as add webhook. Just click it. Okay, so this is the page called as webhook data. Here it is asking you to assign a name to the webhook. So I'm going to give a random name, webhook three. Okay, just a random name. Uh, let's change the status from disabled to active. And the topic is customer created. Customer created, this one. Now coming to the most important part, the delivery URL. To get the delivery URL, just go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the delivery URL we want and paste it here. The secret will remain empty and the API version will be WP REST API integration v3. Then click on save webhook. So as you can see, the webhook has been created. Now let's check whether Pabli Connect can capture any data from WooCommerce. To do that, let's go to Pabli Connect and here you will find this button called as Capture Webhook Response. Just click it. Okay, it is showing that it is waiting for a webhook response. Now let's create a response that is in the registration page. So this is our registration page where the customer will enter his registration details. So here I'm going to autofill dummy details of a customer. So the dummy details are the first name is Aaron, the last name is Manuel. Company name, let's keep it as star. The username is Aaron Manual 991. This is the phone number. Annual revenue, let's keep it as 1 million. And the number of employees, 99. Website, not really important. User password, just anything random. And click on submit. Okay, so it is showing that the user has been successfully registered. Now let's see whether Public Connect can capture this data or not. Let's go to Public Connect. Yes, the data has been captured. Okay, so the email address is Aaron Manuel 1991, the first name Aaron, the last name Manuel, and uh, the rest of the details are available here. Okay, so let's see the rest of the details. This is the number of uh, employees we have, and this is the annual revenue. So we have successfully integrated WooCommerce to Public Connect, and the proof is that we have captured its data. Now we have to sync this data to Zoho CRM. To do that, let's click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, you will find this window. This is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, we have to change it from API to Zoho, Zoho CRM. In the choose method, since we are going to create a lead, 
So let's keep it as create lead. Then click on connect with Zoho CRM. In select your credentials, let's keep it as new credentials. In the authorized application, just click on connect. Okay, so it is asking for a domain. My domain is uh, zoho.com. Then click on done. Okay, just uh, click on accept. Okay, it is showing that the authorization is successful. Now in the company, I have already entered that is a, let's say star. Yes, this is the one. Salutation, let's keep it as Mr. The first name, let's see what we have got. That is Aaron. The last name, last name, yes, Manuel. Designation, not really important. Let's find the email that was Aaron Manuel 991. This is the dummy details of a customer. I repeat again. Mobile, let's keep it. Uh, Okay, if you want to add mobile, let's do that also. So where was the mobile? Yes, this is the value. That's the mobile mobile value. The website, not really important. Lead status, industry, number of employees. Yes, it's requiring it. So it was, uh, I think, 99. So this is the data. Annual revenue, it was around uh, 1 million, I guess. Yes, that's 1 million. Rating, not important. Email, not important. Zip code, uh, let's see, 4620, yes, this is the zip code. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that the record has been added. So let's check in the leads of Zoho CRM whether a person called as Aaron is available or not. So this is the home page of uh, Zoho CRM. We find the leads, click on leads. Okay, so there is a person called as Aaron Manuel and the company name is Star and the email address is Aaron Manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so the presence of this lead shows we have successfully connected WooCommerce to Zoho CRM with help of Papri Connect. This means anytime a new customer registers themselves in your WooCommerce store, that data will be automatically created as a lead in Zoho CRM. But for your satisfaction, let's check it one more time if the integration is working fine or not. To do that, let's go back to Papri Connect and first save this okay okay and minimize this workflow save this workflow okay and minimize this so this is the whole process in a nutshell first we have integrated WooCommerce to Public Connect and then we integrated Public Connect to Zoho CRM so in return WooCommerce is now directly integrated to Zoho CRM so let's go back to the registration page as you can see, I already have filled the dummy details of a customer. The first name is Roshan, the last name is Mickey, the company name is Disney Bucks. The user email is Roshan Mickey 226. The phone number is this. The annual revenue is around 9 million or 90 million or something. The number of employees is 5. Zip code, let's add uh, 463034. Okay. User password, another set of random password and click on submit. Okay, so it is showing that a user has been registered. So let's check in the leads of Zoho CRM whether we have a person called as Zoshan. So this is the leads. Okay, yes, we have a person called as Zoshan Mickey and the company is Disney Bucks and the email address is RoshanMickey226 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, it means our integration is working absolutely fine. So from now onwards, whenever a new customer creates an account in your WooCommerce store, a new lead will be created in Zoho CRM. Also, you should know not just WooCommerce and Zoho CRM, you can integrate a ton of applications using Public Connect. Thanks.